Well, this is the second time this has happened to me today, and I'm wondering if there's a problem with my vehicle. And you see this? Ready to charge. I'm plugged in here at the supercharger. I'm at the supercharger in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. This happened at the, where was it? Uh, Woodbridge supercharger this morning. Unable to charge, unplug and try again. So let's do that. And this charging session was, look, it's red. Look at that. I've never seen it red before. And this session was going just great. It had about 90 kilowatts charge and all of a sudden it just went off. Okay. Now we'll try it back in. No. Huh. Mm, that was green there for a second and then it's red. One more time. Okay, I'm going to try to move the car to another charging station and see what happens. It's not even red there, it's just... Wait, we got green. Maybe I don't need to. So I'm not sure, since this has happened twice in one day, but I did stop at two other superchargers in between and they were all good. I stopped at Chester, Virginia and I stopped at South Hill and they were all good. So um, that's why I'm wondering if maybe it's my car and not the charger. I'll have to call Tesla about that. See what they have to say after I get back on the road. Well, I just got off the phone with Tesla and they ran a bunch of tests. They checked out the two places where I had problems today, which was Woodbridge, Virginia, the supercharger there, and Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, the supercharger there, and I charged twice in between, no problems. Turns out it sounds like just a coincidence that there was issues at those two charging locations with the cables, the cables themselves, and nothing I could have done about it except to go to a different port there, and that's it, uh, you know, a different stall. So they're gonna repair and check out those locations, but they said if it happens again, I may need my car to bring it for service. But they also said that these these uh, places are being used more and more these days. And you know, since there's so many Tesla users now, people are supercharging all the time, and that's gonna be more problem here as things move on like this in the future with more Tesla drivers. So hopefully Tesla will keep up with the maintenance at these places a little better, and hopefully it's not my car. So. Hopefully that's it. Let me know if you have any comments or any thoughts on this. Thanks so much for watching.